You are tuned in to another edition of Americana Music Profiles, brought to you by Americana Rhythm Music Magazine and AmericanaMusicMagazine.com. I'm your host, Greg Tutwiler. Let's jump right in to the next exciting interview. Christy Stanley began her singing career as a young girl at the age of 15. However, life and family caused her to put that on the back burner until recently, at 37, she had the opportunity to sign a new record deal and revive her singing career. Christy is my guest on this edition of Americana Music Profiles as we talk about her new debut CD, Heart Wide Open. Hi, Christy. Welcome to the podcast. Hey, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for getting on with us and taking Absolutely. a couple minutes out of your schedule. We were we were talking offline uh, um, uh, just to, to give you guys a plug. It'll be after the fact, but you're you're actually at the, the Hills of Home Festival, right? Right now? I am. I am, actually. It actually kicked off today, and it runs through, uh, well, Thursday to Saturday. So today's our, our first day of it, and we are looking forward to uh, all the great fans are here and uh, looking forward to the weekend. So Yeah, and this is actually a festival that uh, Dr. Ralph or, or the brothers mm-hmm. started, which? Actually, it was, yeah, it was actually Dr. Ralph. He started it many, many years ago, and um, actually, this is the 49th annual 49th, uh, okay. Yes, yes. So it's been started a day or two. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, yeah, so so Ralph II and I was kind of, well, Dr. Ralph handed it down to Ralph II and, um, a few years back, so. So he started uh, running that, and yeah, we just enjoyed it, and uh, we, we look forward to it every year. I want to invite everybody that's listening out to the 50th next year. Absolutely. It's on, uh, yeah, it's on every Memorial weekend. Okay. So whatever that weekend falls on, it will start the Thursday through the Saturday, and Great. next year will be a huge one. So For sure. Needs to, yeah, and, and everyone can go on Dr. Ralph. um DrRalphFamilyFestival.com and check all of the news out on that. That's cool. Good. Well, we will. Yeah. We'll certainly follow that, and uh, we'll be sure, we'll be yeah. back with you guys in a, uh, hopefully in in less than a year to get you to to get That's you some um, the the word out for folks, and uh, we'll we'll, we'll talk about that next year. So, but today that we want to talk great. about you and and your music. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, okay. So tell me, um, I was reading over the the. Um, uh, the the bio that uh, uh, mm-hmm. Melanie Wilson sent over to us, and um, right. I, I found a piece of the story uh, very interesting that that you grew up listening and and, and uh, enjoying Dolly Parton as a childhood yes. uh, celebrity artist, and and ended up getting to work yes. with her when you got older, right? Sure, I did, and you know I'm from Eastern Kentucky and Pottville, actually, so you know. Dolly obviously wasn't from there, but a lot of great artists were from there. So I grew up in a, I guess, a place that's rich with wonderful music. Yeah. So, you know, country music was, I think, embedded into my heart, mind, and soul, you know, at a young <laughs> age. Yeah. So, you know, at a very, very young age, I discovered Dolly Parton, and my gosh, you know, she just, I don't know, her, her voice did said something to me, and mm-hmm. I have been a fan ever since. And I always joke and say I want to be her when I grow up. <laughs> I'm 37 years old, but I still want to be her when I grow up. Right. I think so, Dolly wants yeah. to be Dolly when she grows up, which is cool. <laughs> you know, it's probably a cool thing, yeah. yeah. But she's just, I mean, gosh, I, in my opinion, you can't top her. And, you know, she's just an excellent businesswoman. She's an actress. She's a singer. She, you know, she's everything that, you know, I think a lot of, artists aspire to be, and sure. especially me. I just, I look up to her so very much. And you mentioned, you know, that I did get to work with her. I did, actually. Dr. Ralph um, did a record, and he actually asked me to be on it. It was a duet, duet record at uh-huh. the time. And it was all women, a uh, female artist with him. Um, Clinch Mountain Sweetheart was the title of that album, actually. And she happened to be on there as well. So I can... I can say that my name actually is on the same record as Dolly Parton. Yeah, right. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so I can die a happy person now, I suppose. <laughs> so, how did it come to be that that you were that you got yourself into the position to be invited to be on that? 
Well, actually, Ralph to Stake it and I were dating at the time. Okay. And I, I was very, very young. I probably were 16 or 17, was 16 or 17 years old at the time, I believe. And you can imagine, you know, like I said, Ralph and I had just started dating, kind of. And I really didn't know Dr. Ralph that well. So you can imagine how nervous I was. Sure. You know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so they kind of, his mom, uh, Ralph the second's mother, kind of asked me, she's like, you know, I know you sing. I really like what you do. I'm going to see if you can, you know, if Ralph will have you on the project. And so they did. They asked me to be on it, and I was so, so honored. Yeah. So honored. Yeah. And, you know, that's something I'll always have. You know, as long as I live, because as everyone probably knows, you know, long I live here. And so that's, you know, that's, that's a project that I treasure and will always treasure. Sure. How involved had you been in your music career at that point when, when you were able to participate on that record? I actually um, started out with a country band. Um, I don't know how much you know about that, but I did. I started out with a country band when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, we played all over the place. We opened for a lot of country acts like Billy Ray Cyrus, um, Kenny Chesney, people like that. So, yeah, we got to do a lot of very cool things. And so during that time, I still had my band. So I was pretty active, you know, doing festivals, fairs, things like that. Yeah, yeah. When when did... um... When did you make the switch to, to bluegrass? When did that become your your style? Well, I tell you what, I, like I said, um, I had the country band when I was, you know, in high school. And so Ralph and I, Ralph the second and I, and I got married like a few years later. And, you know, we had two kids. So I, my music got put on the back burner. Mm-hmm. So I didn't, you know, I thought, you know, hey, I, I'm never going to play again. It was just something I had you know, come to terms with. Okay. I was okay with it. But, you know, I miss it greatly. I think any artist, you know, if, if music's in your blood, you never fully can let sure. it go. You know, yeah. And so I always pined for it. I always wanted to do it again. And um, I missed it greatly. And then the opportunity arose for me to be signed to a bluegrass label, a new bluegrass label that was opening up. Uh-huh. And they gave me the opportunity and even with my country band, I mean, we did we did a, a, some bluegrass tunes in the band as well. So, I mean, like I said, being from Eastern Kentucky, I mean, you know, that was in my roots as well. Yeah. So I've always loved it, always loved it. And it just, you know, the timing was right, and the opportunity came about, and, you know, I did the project, and here we are. <laughs> How long have you been back in music? I guess um, two and a half years. I okay, so this is a fairly uh, recent thing for you then. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can imagine my excitement, you know. Sure, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, not not doing it for, you know, uh, several, several years and missing it, like I said, greatly, and then having the opportunity to do it again. I'm just thrilled. I'm tickled to death, and I'm having the time of my life doing it. Yeah. Are, are, you, are you back into it? Uh, full time, or do you have other full-time. things you do still? Okay, yeah. no, no, full time. It's my job. It's my you know number one priority besides my family. Sure. And um, yeah, I mean we're playing quite a bit and getting you know getting booked all over the place. We'll actually be in Texas in October, and um, going to be in Wisconsin coming up. So yeah, I mean we're playing playing quite a bit. Is the of course we want to talk about the the new record that. Um, uh, mm-hmm. Heart wide open. That's is that the name of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is, is that your first, or did is this? Was there another one before this? No, this actually was my first. I had done demos and things like that. Um, you know, that never really got out there to people. Uh-huh. But this is my first professional project that actually, you know, that I can. It's all you. you know, get uh-huh. to the public, sell to the public. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, uh-huh. I'm super excited about that. And is it out? When did it come out? It came out last May, actually. Okay. So this weekend, this weekend last year was the first time people got to see it. Okay. So this is, yeah, this is kind of a um, special weekend, you know, commemorating that as well. Now, are you working on a new one then? Is it? Is it? Uh... I'm, I'm getting ready to work on a new project. I sure am. Yeah. And I am so excited about that. And it's going to take a little bit different turns okay <laughs> it's gonna to be totally different it's gonna to be something that 
I can't talk a whole lot about it just yet, but uh, it's going to be a different style. Yeah. And um, and still hold true to what I've been doing as well. So I'm not leaving my fans or anything, but it's going to be a little bit different, and I think people's really going to enjoy it. Well, it feels like that that is a direction that, that most, uh, I shouldn't lump everybody into that, but a lot of bluegrass acts eventually explore. Um, and yeah, I, I guess it yeah. is reflective of the changing times and the mm-hmm. changing tastes sure. and the changing of the guard or whatever phrase right. you want to yeah. put in there. But, you know, even yeah. um, even the Gibson brothers uh, really took a hard yeah. a hard right or hard left and uh, went and explored yeah. some new things. And I, I think they did a really yeah. good job with it, but it's not bluegrass. And so, um, yeah, right, it, right. but, uh, you know, I think it's also uh, reflective of your maturity as an artist. And so um, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. that's neat that you get to do that. Um, well, and, and that as well as, you know, I, I keep using the term my roots, but, you know, my roots run deep with country music. Sure. And, yeah. you know, like I said, and, you know, I just love it dearly. And, you know, and even in my music now, you know, you can you can sense the flavor of that. You know, a lot of people will say, well, you're not, you know, I wouldn't call you fully bluegrass. Right. And that's fine, you know. That's fine. I'm I'm okay with that, you know, because I love it all. I love it. I love all kinds of music. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I think this will give an opportunity to maybe expand out, you know, to some different fans and di- you know, just a different area. Well, there's a big hole right now. I think. I think the the, the music is. that they call country is far from what used to be oh, country, God. and so yeah, it's yeah, left yeah. a lot of room for folks like yourself mm-hmm. to explore into what used to be right. country and still hold true right. to the grassroots. So right, right, absolutely, I agree. Um, are, are you so you're on tour now? Uh, is this yeah. uh, um, more regional for you, or are you covering the whole United States with this record? We're covering the whole map. I mean, I'm looking to maybe go overseas. Hopefully, Melanie Wilson, I am with her booking and all that, and she's doing a wonderful job. I just recently signed with her uh-huh. again, and she she's working on some great things, and I'm really looking forward to what she has in store for us as well. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, we'll be in Texas coming up. We'll be in Wisconsin. We'll be, yeah, we're. I mean, we're trying to cover the whole map. That is my goal. I, there's nothing I love any more than being on stage. That yeah. is my happy spot, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I want to play as much as I possibly can and as much as, you know, as much as the fans will allow. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Are, are you writing some of your own songs, too? I do write. Um, on this last record, I had a uh, an original tune on that. I haven't really got anything on tap for the next project, but I'm I'm, I'm working on some things for the future. So. so when you're putting together music for this last album and, and your new project, mm-hmm. how do you decide uh, what fits you? If you're not actually writing it yourself, how do you determine what material works for you and your voice and your band? You know, I, a lot of people say, and I totally agree with it, that I kind of have a little more bluesy tone in my voice, uh-huh. maybe something, you know, like that. And, you know, I can hear a song, and I can automatically tell if that's something I can pull off or not. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what you call that. <laughs> yeah. But when I hear it, when I hear the song, the demo, I can usually always tell, well, yeah, I can probably do that. Or, no, I can't. That doesn't fit me. And also, I have to do a song that it speaks to me in a way. I can't, you know, because it's just not authentic. Yeah. If you're trying to sing something that, that you can't relate to or you just don't get or understand, then really the fans can pick up on that, I, I believe. Yeah. And um, so two things, you know, I feel like that when I hear it, if I, I, I automatically know that I can do it or if I can't. And then I have to be able to relate to it on some, some sort of level. Yeah, yeah. When when you're out, do you get to tour with Ralph? Do your bands play together, or do you kind of have your own routing that you do? Yeah, we don't actually. We kind of go our own our own separate way. He goes one way, I go the other. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it works out at the end of the day. You know, he's yeah. got his fan base, and I'm working on mine. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like here at, at this festival, actually, actually, my band played here last year. Uh-huh. And I told him this year, I said, you know, you know what, but just skip me and give another band a chance. 
Yeah. You know, I don't want a hog my spot. You know, I know I know my position, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and um, I want to give someone else a chance. Yeah. So, actually, I will probably get up and do a song 